Hi guys, it's me, your friendly neighborhood mushroom. Today is Sunday and yesterday, on Saturday, I was scrolling through my newsfeed on my phone and then I stumbled upon an article by The Guardian uh, which told me of this hot debut novel by an author that I've never heard of because she's a debut author, whatever. So I found this article right here and I didn't click on it, so I just saw this headline which said that it was a superb debut novel. And I was intrigued because there was a lighthouse on the picture, I like lighthouses, so I um, decided to check it out on my uh, local bookstore's website. Um, and they said it was available, so I was like, ooh, nice. And then I saw the cover, which is Great! I really love this cover. So I think this has been one of the prettiest cover that I've seen um, in a while. <laughs> so um, I was like, yeah, why not just all of this novel and read it? I have no idea what, what it's about. Um, but the cover was so good and I thought, why not read this random mystery book? And so we are here on Sunday. I think this book should arrive on Tuesday. I guess. Um, and then I will pick it up from the bookstore and then I'll read it and talk about it. So I think it's going to be fun. All right, so here we are almost one month later. So the book took like three weeks to arrive. I don't know what happened, but it just got delayed. And the website still says that it's available. Well, maybe it's available now, <laughs> but um, I got scammed, so... Um, but I have the book with me right now. Um, it's here and it's still pretty, um, even though the yellow on the picture is a bit more gold and glittery, uh, which I like, but it's still a very, very pretty cover. <laughs> so, I read the book and, um, like it says on the cover, a mystery, a love story and a ghost story all at once. Wonderful. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, that that kind of quote from S.J. Watson, whoever that is, uh, is not wrong. <laughs> um, so, this book, now that I've read it, uh, it's about three lighthouse keepers who vanished in 1972 on this very remote tower lighthouse, which is a lighthouse that's just... it's only the lighthouse, so it is not even on an island or something, or on some rocks, it's just in the middle of the ocean. And um, it had those uh, three lighthouse keepers, and when the relief for one of the lighthouse keepers came to the lighthouse, um, all three of them were gone. So there was no trace of them, and people were very confused what happened on this uh, lighthouse. So we follow, in this book, we follow two timelines. The first one, is in 1972 where we get to see kind of what happened on the lighthouse from the perspective of all those lighthouse keepers, the, the three different ones. Um, and then we have the story 20 years later where a an author um, just, he um, contacts the wives of the lighthouse keepers or the, the wives and the one girlfriend um, to hear their side of the story. So we have those perspectives, the one from the lighthouse keepers and the one from the uh, wives. Um, and I think the book uh, did a really good job to show uh, the kind of seclusion and loneliness on this lighthouse because they, um, uh, for them, they stayed on the lighthouse for eight weeks and then they came back home for four weeks and then they went back to the lighthouse. And it really shows how much this can strain the relationship between um, the wives and the uh, lighthouse keepers. And I really enjoyed reading this. So from the very beginning, I was very intrigued by the mystery. I really wanted to know what happened to those lighthouse keepers because um, the door was locked from the inside and there was no trace. It was really, really uh, well done. So it got me really interested. I enjoyed reading this book. Um, it it is, was a case so I'm not a big mystery reader and I think that the mystery aspect of the book isn't really that much in the focus so I think in the beginning one of the wives when this uh, author comes to her house and talks to her um, she says that 
the stories are always about the men and never about the women. Um, because <laughs> when when those lighthouse keepers vanished, um, all the um, news articles we're talking about were those three lighthouse keepers and the woman, women, they were totally neglected in this uh, press coverage. And by <laughs> so in this book, uh, a big focus of the story is on those women 20 years later. And I really liked how that was done and how their uh, personal environment had changed in those years and what they were doing now um, because they had some stories between themselves as well. And I really liked that. I also liked those uh, chapters that took place on the lighthouse um, because I think lighthouses are very creepy sometimes. Uh, so I don't know, they have this general creepiness and this one's in the middle of the ocean so there's no help coming if the weather is bad and they're just totally on their own. And I think that makes for great stories so we should there should be more lighthouse stories, or more prominent lighthouse stories. Um, uh, there were also some like uh, fantasy, so it, like it says, it's a ghost story as well. Um, there were some fantastical elements in there as well. Um, uh, I'm not sure if I felt like they were very fitting. Um, it was a bit confusing at times, so I didn't really know what was real and what wasn't real. Um, but I think it was, I guess it was well done. Um, uh, yeah, but I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. I still think that, um, I, yeah, I think I liked it, I guess. So what did I not like about this book? Um, I think it was very slow paced. So. I couldn't really tell you if it was a thriller novel because it's not that uh, there's not that much happening actually. Um, uh, yeah, I think you could say it's a mystery novel because you have that mystery in the beginning, but um, most of the time it's not about that mystery really. I mean, most characters from the the uh, present or 1992, um, they're all just guessing what happened on this lighthouse because they don't know, and um, in the past we only see what happened before they vanished and uh, I, I don't think that the mystery aspect in this book was that well done. I So I was very interested in this mystery. I was like, oh, how did this happen? And um, I think in the end I got disappointed. So uh, it was a bit... Uh, it was a bit... Uh, hello, just a quick warning that the um, next section might be a bit spoilery for people. So I'm talking about the ending and I'm also mentioning a, a few things that happen. But it's not anything concerning the mystery. It's it's more uh, in regards to the wife's story. Um, so, but if you don't want to hear about any of that, just uh, skip ahead. I will put in timestamps. The ending was kind of weird because we get to see what happened from the perspective of the lighthouse keepers and then in the next chapter when we're back in the year 1992 with the women um, we see that the the author is so he's coming up to the um, one of the women and she's like here that's what I found out and she takes his notes and she just throws them away um, because she says she doesn't want to know um, because I think that if the book had gone the route that we will not know or uh, will never know what happened on the lighthouse, um, I think that would have been fine actually, because we get some clues and things like that. Um, but her not accepting the answer in the end, it kind of undermines the uh, the answers that we got the chapter before that. And I think that wasn't really fitting. Um, but overall, um, I think I really enjoyed the book. It was a fast read and I wanted to know what was going on. I also liked the dynamic between the characters um, because there was also a lot of stuff going on there. And um, I think the, the kind of fantasy elements, they were done quite well as well. Uh, so... I don't know if this is the superb debut novel that the article is talking about. 
Um, but I still think it was worth the time that I put into it. I mean, it's not that thick, it's just like 360 pages, so it's a very uh, quick read. I really like the setting with the sea and uh, the seclusion and uh, also those small horror elements that were in there. I really enjoyed that. So if you want to read a story about vanishing lighthouse keepers, I think you uh, could pick this up and I think you could be satisfied. Um, but if you have other things to read, I don't, I don't think that this is worth reading first because it wasn't that superb but it was okay and quite good and i enjoyed it so i won't don't want to talk it down so um yeah that was my first random book pick kinda um i hope you enjoyed this video i think i want to pick up random books more often um because this one's not one that i would have picked up normally i think maybe uh, maybe if i had heard what it was about i would have picked it up because it sounds really interesting um but i think i i will look for methods to just find random books and then i'll buy them and read them so i think that's fun <laughs> uh yeah but anyways that's my review for this book and i wish you a happy easter if that's your thing or if you're watching this on easter um, and I'll see you again in the next video.